It's a question that everyone has been asking me. What's going on with Trump now that DeSantis has announced? Would Trump consider, out of spite, running as an independent if DeSantis is the Republican winner in the primaries? We're going to discuss all of that. We had Ron DeSantis officially announcing he's going to be running for president. We're getting early polls in South Carolina. That's not a great number for DeSantis. I'm sure he's getting some of his votes stolen there from Tim Scott. Also, Nikki Haley. You eliminate both of them from the race. DeSantis is probably up around 35%, you know, percent, or maybe that's just me coping. But either way, the question is... Would Trump seriously consider tanking the entire Republican Party because he's pissed that if DeSantis wins, we know how it's going to happen. It's going to be all the other candidates like Tim Scott, like Nikki Haley, you know, like Mike Pence dropping out and endorsing theoretically DeSantis, you would think, all dropping out early, and Trump would see that as, oh, the Republican Party is against me. Well, because DeSantis wins, you know, because it was like a conspired effort against him, would Trump then say, because of that, I'm going to take my voters, run as an independent, and obviously completely tank the Republican chances in 2024? My original thought is that I don't think Trump would do that, but this is a lot of speculation. Because I also think if you're a Democrat, you really have to consider possibly somehow, we know the Democrats love to do it, manipulating the primary. I mean, we've already heard about the CIA, the FBI, they're in bed with the Democrats. I think that's one of the main issues. That was a tough pill to swallow for Americans when it came out that, Oh yeah, the CIA and the FBI, they're not bipartisan. When that came out, that was a very hard pill for Americans to swallow. But if you are the Democrats, do you try and plant some stuff on DeSantis and the Republicans to make it seem like, you know, maybe it feels like Trump gets screwed out of the Republican nomination. That would then cause Trump to maybe run because he's mad at DeSantis and the Republicans. Trump would run as an independent, he would get his 30% MAGA base, and the Republicans would obviously lose. There's just no way, you know, you DeSantis would have any chance losing votes like that in the general. So, all of this is very interesting. I don't think it's going to happen. The polls right now are positive for Trump, but the other thing to look at Trump has nothing to lose at this point. I mean, seriously, he was already president. He only has one term left. Even if he wins, he's old. This is it for Trump. This is his political co-career. It is this election cycle. It's done after this. Unless, well, I, I can't even see him coming back, you know, in 2028 and doing something. This is it for Trump. So if Trump loses, we know he doesn't really care about the Republican Party, It's just the way he is. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It is what it is. You just kind of have to accept it. Would he then consider running as an independent? I'm going to say no. I think he'll give DeSantis a backhanded endorsement and then probably not campaign for him. I'm guessing that's best case scenario if DeSantis ends up winning. But again, the only way DeSantis wins is if all of these other candidates drop out which Trump will probably see as some type of, oh, they're colluding against me. It's the same thing that happened to Bernie Sanders in 2020. The Democrats realized that, hey, our guy, they decided to pick Biden as their their dude, right? Uh, All of the other Democratic candidates were siphoning two, three, four percentage points off of Biden. It allowed Bernie Sanders to pull a lot better and possibly have a chance at getting the Democratic nomination, the Democratic strategists know that that is not a winning idea because Bernie Sanders comes off and is a bit socialist. He would never win the general election. So they said, listen, everyone's got to drop out and get in line. That's exactly what everyone did. Pete Buttigieg, they all drop out basically around the same time and they all endorse Biden. 
And, you know, obviously Trump is going to react a lot differently than Bernie Sanders did. Bernie Sanders didn't do anything about it, right? It's just, it is what it is. Trump, on the other hand, if he sees this happening, he's going to get really upset. And because he has nothing to lose in 2024 with how old he is with everything that's already happened, winning in 2016, losing in 2020, coming back in 2024, this is it. This is the final chapter for Donald Trump. You do have to be worried about him possibly running as an independent. You also have to have some concern that the Democrats might try and plant something on DeSantis, lie about DeSantis through a leak, and then Trump thinks that's, oh, DeSantis conspiring against me, the Republicans conspiring against me, as a way to make Trump angry to get him to run as an independent. If you are the Democrats, this is undoubtedly the best case scenario. DeSantis wins... Trump gets angry and Trump runs as an independent. Biden gets the White House free. It's free. And then obviously that's a complete charade. Biden can't even talk. He'd probably be removed about a month later. And I don't really know who would replace Biden. It can't be Kamala Harris. She is completely incompetent. The only reason she was selected as the VP was because she's a quote unquote double positive for Democrats because, and maybe I'll do another video on this. Biden is seen as a double negative. He's white and he's a male. Kamala would be a double positive. They had to balance the ticket, so they went with a minority female as the vice president. But that is the current situation. I don't think Trump would run as an independent, but a lot of this depends on how the primary process happens. And then you can see this is Donald Trump's approval rating versus Biden basically the exact same, which is really remarkable considering you go back to Trump in 2018, 2019, Twitter's against him, Facebook is against him, YouTube's against him, Google's against him, all of big tech against Trump, and he still has the same approval rating as Biden. Uh, Right now, I would not take too much stock into, well, I mean, I guess obviously having a 41% approval rating is terrible, but uh, the Democrats will artificially inflate the economy in 2024. There's just no incentive to do it right now because there's no election upcoming. But by mid-2024, I'm sure we'll we'll start hearing more positive things coming out about the economy. And then that's when we'll get the whole, oh, it's a miracle. The Biden administration is going to give kids more student loan relief. No, we're not trying to buy your vote. We would never do that. It's just a coincidence that we're announcing another student loan relief plan two months before the election, targeting a group that normally doesn't vote. Maybe this could motivate them to vote to save some money. But no, we're not buying your vote. They would never do that. No. So guys, that is the situation right now. Trump, DeSantis, it's looking good for Trump, but it's really early in the polls. That South Carolina poll came out. And again, it's going to be so hard for DeSantis to pull well with Tim Scott. That's his home state, 12%, siphoning votes off DeSantis. Nikki Haley, 10%, siphoning votes off DeSantis. If those two candidates were not in the race, more of those voters would go to DeSantis than they would go to Trump. Trump may eventually still get over 50%. Uh, but it would be a lot closer. So that is the situation surrounding that, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description.